All right, so I've received many calls from um, football people, football loving people, asking me why the Ghana Premier League is on suspension. So, in this video, I'll try to give you a narration or you know where we've come from and why we are where we are today. Uh, don't forget that tomorrow is the court day, uh, the 14th of um, October is the court date uh, to hear the injunction case. There's another court, you know, um, case that's the um, content case happening on the 19th. Uh, don't forget that on the 17th of July 2021, you know, a normal afternoon at the Lake Sports Stadium, the Ghana Premier League, you know, game between Asgood and International Allies. That was the last game of the season, 2020-2021 Ghana Premier League season. It was the last game of the season. Virtually, the entire were relegated. Uh, so that game really did not mean anything to them. Um, but something very interesting happened in that particular game. The game ended 7-0 in favor of, you know, Asgood. And that's not strange, is it? Because we've seen high you know, scoring games in the Ghana Premier League. Not too many, though. Uh, so it didn't raise uh, a lot of eyebrow, but that evening after the game, videos went viral, uh, you know, of a player scoring a very, very interesting own goal. Not one, but twice, uh, raising a lot of questions about the credibility of that game and why the player did that. So you know, a day after, that's the 18th of July, 2021, uh, Hashmin Musa, who was the player in that centre of the controversy, got an interview um, to Kumasi FM. And explain why he scored, you know, the two own goals. That was very interesting. And he said some very interesting things in that interview with Kumar CFM. He said, and that was his claim, that he had prior to the game and even on the day of the game that the game was fixed for a correct score of five one in favor of Ashgo. So he had told his coaches that if he gets the opportunity to play, he would, you know, virtually mess up the the um, correct score. So before he got in, the scoreline was 5-0 and he scored two own goals to make it 7. So the correct score 5-1 would not happen because six goals had to you know, be scored in that game. So eventually, as we will see in Ghana, destroyed the whole bet. That was only 18. That raised a lot of questions about the credibility of that particular game. Was it you know, a match of convenience, match manipulation? The FA took a very, very, very strong stand on that, issuing a statement uh, claim, you know, indicating that you know, that game will be investigated and indeed the game was investigated. Um, the prosecutor of the Ghana Football Association and the integrity officer instituted an investigation into the, uh, into the game and whether indeed the game was manipulated in favour of a square score. So the game opportunities, uh, they referred the, ca the case to the disciplinary committee after some you know, preliminary investigations. So they refer the case to the Disciplinary Committee of the Ghana Football Association and also uh, gave um, the accused people, uh, the clubs, both you know, clubs, and also some players of both teams, um, champion who, uh, Dr. Koko Frimpong, who is the president of the club, his son, uh, who was the CEO of the, of the club, and also some uh, technical team members, the opportunity to also make their case. So, Long story short, the Disciplinary Committee of the Ghana Football Association came out with their ruling um, this year, demoting Ashgood and Intalis to um, Division 2, respectively. Even though Intalis were already relegated to Division 1, the season was on call, the season was in motion, the 2021-2022 season was in motion, Ashgood was then in the Ghana Premier League, and also Intalis was playing or were playing in the National Division 1 League. So, long story short, some players and officials, uh, close to 25 of them, were you know, given various degrees of suspensions and bans, some for 48 months, some even more. Dr. Goku Fimpong and his son, the president and his son, were banned 10 years respectively, and other monetary fines, fines as well. So, you know, long story short, both, all parties, in fact, appealed the decision of the appellate court, uh, appellate committee of the Ghana Football Association. Interestingly, the Jacquasulet committee also agreed with the disciplinary committee and affirmed the bans on both players, officials and the club. So long story short, this is where the matter got to. We thought that that was the end of the litigation, but no way. Um, PFAG, uh, the mother body of professional players in the world and in Ghana specifically, uh, filed a, you know, a case 
at Cass, and of course the Cass, Cass also ruled, um, doing away with the ban uh, of on the players. So virtually uh, saying that the players can go about their football careers until the finality of the case at Cass. Many many players, including some notable ones, uh, which one Lamte, who was also involved in it, had been transferred to Kumasi Santi Kotoko. Kotoko filed his case differently from the PFAG one, but indeed they all had similar you know verdict coming in from CAS. So that ban was suspended and they are you know engaged in various you know um engaged with various clubs and some are even playing for some of the biggest teams in them. Eric Esau was involved in that but later after that ruling from CAS Hasfuk signed him and is part of the Hasfuk team competing for the Ghana Premier League season. Okay so let's get to why we are in courts you know um, tomorrow. So, after the players going to Cars, um, Ashgold and its president decided to go to the ordinary law court. Right, they went to the human rights court and succeeded in uh, uh, acquiring an interrogatory injunction on the Ghana Premier League. Um, of course, it was a 10 days grant, but the Ghana Football Association claimed that they did not receive the injunction or the court order. So. The Ghana Premier League went ahead, started, even though Ashgold and Dr. Fimpong were in court seeking to stop the start of the Ghana Premier League. That went on. Uh, so the 10 days elapsed and they went to court again. What was the case? To hear the injunction you know, uh, case, which was then you know, uh, moved uh, to 14th, which is tomorrow. Um, but of course, because the FA, started the league even though there was a court order uh, some people were set uh, you know for contempt that case will be heard on the 19th now on the 14th the human rights courts would uh, listen to the argument from both parties i am told that the airface lawyers have also filed their own affidavits to the case so tomorrow the court will have to decide whether indeed to grant the injunction or to throw it away as it were so that the Ghana Premier can go on can start I will bounce back again after March Day 3 and the suspension of the Ghana Premier League. So, this is why we are in court. Um, Asgold is alleged to have been involved in much manipulation you know, in their game against international allies. The last game of the 2020-2021 Ghana Premier League season, they were found guilty by the disciplinary committee of the Ghana Football Association, demoted to Division 2 players' ban uh, you know, at you know, various levels, some for 18 months, some for 48 months, based on the gravity of their crime. Now, CAS has you know, suspended that ban on the players. The players are free to engage in their professional duties, but Ashgold and Dr. Fimpong are in the human rights court seeking what they claim as justice um, in their favor. So, tomorrow, the court, the uh, you know, human rights court will determine whether indeed the Ghana Premier League should go on or be suspended until the finality of the case itself, of the merit of the case itself. Um, is done. So we pray that um, we will hear good news tomorrow in court. So, so this is why this is why we are where we are, and hopefully this brings clarity in your mind. And whatever happens in court tomorrow, you probably understand why we are where we are. Thank you.